Good morning, Screwball here. It's March 10th, my 30th wedding anniversary. So first off, I'd love to uh, wish my beautiful wife, Nancy, happy anniversary. Sorry, uh, not at home. Um, when this was planned, she's a teacher, and for every, every year she's been a teacher, she's had spring break this week. And after we planned all this, um, they changed the schedule on us last year. So she's off next week. I'll get to see her next week. So happy anniversary, Nancy. Love you. And... Um, it's, like I said, 10 o'clock, March 10th, day 25 on the trail. One thing, one more thing. War Eagle, Nancy. Well, you know how that goes. So, all right, let me get, and we'll see y'all later. You'll see there's snow left over from last week here. The sun is not hitting this side of the, the mountain. Now, my last mile and a half was in stuff like this yesterday, but if you look out, you can tell it's a rainy, foggy day. So, um, don't know how much video and I'll get done, especially with any long shots. You can have all the little mossy close-ups, but, uh, um, I'll get as much as I can today. Like I said, it may not be a whole lot due to the weather. It's supposed to be pretty rainy. So, let me get on down trail. All right, walking is real windy. You can see the, up there, probably the. But uh, got a little rock outcropping. I'm just trying to keep y'all back in to the rocks here, you know. There's not as many big rock outcroppings as you'd think on this part of the, the Smoky Mountains like they were in Georgia and North Carolina. As you can see the drop off on the hill. Oso is up there in front of me. If you hadn't checked out Oso's channel, I believe it's Oso Hikes. Uh, check out his channel. He's, he's a different... Uh, hiker, he talks a lot to himself, and you know, I think you'd like him. He carries on with us and, and stuff. So, just check out his channel and uh, you know, give him a thumbs up. Tell him that Screwball said check him out. It's Oso Hikes, I think. If that's not it, I'll recorrect it. Look. Here's a neat little water drainage. You can see it's the only place don't have a little water coming out to there. Just like the way that looks. So I thought I'd. Give you a shout and all that and let you, let you see it. All right, we're in a patch of pines, I don't know, hemlock, I don't know, whatever, but if you look, coming up on the patch here, dead so I don't know if they had a beetle infestation or if the fire killed them you can see the undergrowth are coming back pretty strong but that's just a big big patch of just dead dead trees right there in the middle of this evergreen forest All right, let me move on. All right, that's really my first view of the day. I assume that's Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge back there the, behind that limb there, that little shiny area. I like to walk back without really stopping and looking. You can see all the houses, or I can, down there. Right up here's another pretty decent shot. All right, Oso said he's got a good one up here. And it definitely ain't him. Hey, wait, this is my shot. This is my shot. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, this is a minute. So I'm gonna have to let it go. I haven't put very many on lately either, but uh, neat looking little stump to me. I had uh, someone ask, I think it was on maybe my Facebook page, had we seen any Merles, Merles, or Merles, however you say it. But uh, down in Alabama, we don't do mushrooms, and I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Yeah, we don't do mushrooms down in Alabama. Uh, I suppose they just don't grow down in there. I don't know. So I wouldn't know one if I saw one. So to answer your questions, man, I, I don't know. Uh, if we've seen any or not, you, you'd you have to ask Camper on that one. 
So appreciate you asking though, man. All right, here's a quick little view. Still got snow on that side. You can see the clouds floating in. Let me get. All right, this is just a pretty little view right here. Yeah, I got the trees. You can see through the trees. I mean, it may not be pretty for y'all, but I just like the way this looks. All right, it's a 10 to 12, the sun is coming out, you know, we're predicting rain up to about 50% between one and two o'clock maybe. But uh, we're dropping altitude, we're, I'm losing about uh, 1,800 to 2,000 feet from my last shelter to the next shelter. So I'm actually, we're actually going down, you know, in the Smokies. So my, I've, I've done three point, I believe 3.7 miles a day uh i haven't been giving out mileages on the at so when i next video i'll pull up and tell you what mile i'm on on the at i know people like that but i just for some reason i have not thought about doing it but uh you can hear the bird up here in front of me but this turned out to be a pretty day so uh i'll get down to this shelter here in about an hour and a half maybe two hours and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna call it a day i'm not gonna stretch for the 14 miles today. All right, I'm gonna give a shout out to my youngest niece. So Presley, I know you're about to go down to the beach next week and enjoy all that warm sandy weather. So think about old Uncle Screwball while you're down there soaking up the sun in that warm beach. But uh, hey, Hope you have a great time on your spring break. So make sure you think about Uncle Screwball while you're down there. You can tell I'm dropping an altitude here. You know, I'm getting back into the rhododendrons and just thicker underbrush. We're up on the mountains. It was more of the zebra green and, uh, you know, opening, opening and stuff. So I uh, just gonna show you the difference, you know, about what 2,000 feet will make as far as vegetation so getting a little bit thicker the lower we go I reckon there's your tree rocks for today. Hanging on for life. Here's you some good rocks with moss all over them. And uh, yeah, we decided to push on yeah. instead of stopping at our original point. We're going to Push on another five miles. Nice rocks over the mosses on. Still got some things. All right, here we go. All right, it's 3.40. Like I said, we pushed on. If you look in the middle of the screen, that's I-40. And further out is Newport, Tennessee. You see the big, I mean, it's a huge valley down there. And also is trying to figure out what mountain that is over on that side with his mountain out, peak visor mountain out. 
English, English mountain, some knob. English mountain is what he thinks it was with a buzzard knob on one side of it. All right, it's 4.40, uh, about three and a half miles from the shelter. Frankie, this is what I was walking up on whenever you called. My brother Frankie, my niece. This is what I was walking up on when y'all called. It's rock out cropping here. We came off the top of that, <clears throat> off top of that mountain there. Slowly panning around here. You got some kind of, I don't know if it's a smoke stack or some kind of stack down in the bottom. If you look way down in, down in there, that's I-40 right there in the middle of the screen. I believe that's I-40. We'll be uh, going underneath it tomorrow um, fairly early. You see some vehicles going across it right right there in the middle of the screen. So let's see if I can zoom back out here. Or zoom back in, however you want to see it. Alright, I'm going to get on down the road. Alright, I've been a bunch of passing. I mean, just some pretty cliffs and stuff, but... This little outcropping. I just thought I'd let you see up in there. Maybe. Oh, man. Down on Davenport Gap Shelter is where we're going to be staying tonight. So we've done an extra seven miles just to get here today. My body can tell it. So let me get on down here. Get this pack off and get settled in. All right, it's a uh, six thirty. We pushed in. We got fourteen point uh, fourteen point six miles today, I believe. Uh, we're at. Uh, Davenport Gap Shelter is the one with the fence on. I'll turn this around and let you see. Um, we're going to stop short. We're going to stop at about the 10 mile. No, uh, eight. I don't know, around eight miles. So we've done an extra seven. We've done, in the last, um, we've done about 30 miles since we left. Uh, excuse me on that. <laughs> Just dropped the camera. We've done about 30 miles since we left um, Newfound Gap. So we, we've been pushing miles. But tomorrow, we're only gonna do about four miles. We're gonna take off the rest of the day. So that's not gonna, not gonna be much. But I'm fixing to turn this around. I'm gonna show you the runaways and uh, let them do a little bit of talking. I think they wanted to be on camera there. Um, maybe let get their story. So let's see if we can do that. Hey, right here, we call them the runaways. Um, Rainbow and Mountain Goat. And I'll let you figure out which one's which. Uh, <laughs> Rainbow's the cook, Mountain Goat's the eater, I reckon. Uh, yeah. I've, never, I've never seen him cook. I, uh, tell us a little bit. You said you graduated early, so you could do this trail. Yeah. See there, I don't know about her cooking. Look at that water yeah. boiling over. <laughs> I'm too good at cooking. Uh. Um, I graduated early in December, so I just graduated from high school, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you're going to college. Yeah, and I head off to college in the fall. Are after you, we finish up that. You going to a real college? Yeah, real college. Which where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to Swanee, the University of the South in Tennessee. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, Mountain Goat, you were what, in the ninth grade, you told me? Mm -hmm. And he goes to a, what did you say the school was? A Montessori school. And he is the only ninth grader, I think you said? Yeah. At the school, and they are an outdoor-based mm -hmm. learning type school. And tell your story, they, they let you come here for? Yeah, yeah, so they, um, we go on like backpacking trips with the school and everything. Um, and so they thought it was a really cool way to finish off my education at the school, because um, it's my last year there. 
uh, to do this, so they let me out. And y'all had a third, an older brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have an older brother that is a sophomore in college that mm -hmm. started with us. He started, but he, he decided working was more important. So, <laughs> and uh, well, what do your parents think about you out here on your own? They're really supportive, and once they looked more into it, once you, are you helping me? I just took <laughs> You're partially in this situation. Um, they're really supportive of us. They meet up with us a lot, and we supply the, like our own personal trail ferries. Yeah, y'all so. live fairly close to the trail. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you, your mom and dad, okay, you've got some good kids. They've been real nice. I've been around them for, um, actually, we met at uh, Sassafras right out of the NOC, and uh, they'll pass me. The next thing I know, they're behind me because they've done something, went home or something. But, uh, all right, they thought I'd put them on camera. They're the only ones I've interviewed so far this, this year. So I'll get you up, get you on video when I can. If I don't, if I can't today, it'll be tomorrow. Thank you. All right, y'all have a good one.